assalamu alaikum dear students the topic of my discussion is markovnik calls rule <coughs> this is a rule for unsaturated hydrocarbons mainly alkane uh, alkene and alkyne if i write the definition here the rule states that if and sorry asymmetrical or unsymmetrical alkene combines with unsymmetrical reagent the negative part of the reagent goes to that carbon comma containing minimum number of hydrogen atoms <coughs> so this is our main definition first we have to sort out two terms one is unsymmetrical alkene and the other is unsymmetrical reagent the alkene is not specific we can also write alkyne here in the definition mainly the idea is to deliver you with a method where some unsymmetrical compound reacts with unsymmetrical reagent briefly i describe you both of the terms here on the board students a reagent is a compound that is mainly going to react with some hydrocarbon or organic compound it can be of two type a reagent may be symmetrical or it may be unsymmetrical or asymmetrical likewise an alkene may be symmetrical or it can be unsymmetrical or asymmetrical by giving suitable examples you can easily understand the terminologies symmetrical reagent means those type of reagents that are mainly formed of similar atoms like hydrogen both hydrogen atoms combine to form hydrogen molecule likewise oxygen ozone these are the main reagents that can react with alkene in general chemistry unsymmetrical reagent means a chemical like water h2o like ammonia nh3 for the sake of understanding i simply drawing or writing these compounds like that in water molecule oxygen is main electronegative center so it bears partial negative charge likewise hydrogen bears partial positive charge so in asymmetrical or unsymmetrical reagent there is 
a positive as well as a negative center so in chemistry or in chemical reaction this positive part will shift itself to the other side and according to the definition the negative part goes to that carbon that contain minimum number of hydrogen atoms lately i discussed the method with proper chemical reaction first you have to look upon some asymmetrical or unsymmetrical reagents similarly i can also write sulfuric acid in the category of unsymmetrical reagent similarly i can also write nitric acid in the unsymmetrical reagent etc etc <coughs> so here we are interested only in unsymmetrical reagents as we know in the definition <coughs> on the other hand alkene symmetrical alkene contain similar groups on the carbon across double bond just in the case on left hand side the carbon has only two hydrogen double bond similarly on right side this carbon also contain only two hydrogen we can also write some compound like that this is two butene here on left side uh, a ch3 and hydrogen is bonded to carbon containing double bond similarly on right side same two groups are present on the carbon across the double bond likewise i can also write a symmetrical alkene like that unsymmetrical alkenes are those alkenes that usually have at least one group different from the others across the double bond here carbon has only two hydrogens but on right side carbon can form a bond with one hydrogen as well as it is forming a bond with ch3 group so this ch3 group creates a difference in the compound so it is unsymmetrical alkene <coughs> similarly i can also write the compound as ch3 and ch3 although they both are similar but they both are different from left side of the carbon on left side there are two hydrogens and on right side there are only two alkyl groups across the double bond here this carbon is forming two covalent bonds with hydrogen so there are two hydrogens attached to this carbon and here only one hydrogen is attached to this carbon atom similarly there are two hydrogens on left hand side and this carbon does not have any bond with the hydrogen rather it only connects itself to the alkyl group or ch3 groups so these unsymmetrical alkene are mainly are components for the definition let's have a reaction with the help of reaction you are able to find a specific product by markovnikov rule starts from the beginning i only gave you one example here lately in another lecture i will give you further examples of markovnikov's rule so this is our first part of the lecture addition of hydrogen halide 
Dear students, hydrogen halide may also be known as halogen acids. They are represented by the formula HX. In HX, halogen is a electronegative center, so it is partially negatively charged and hydrogen is partially positively charged. So here we have also a positive pole and the negative pole that can easily fit upon the definition. This is unsymmetrical or asymmetrical reagent. If I write some organic compound like propene, this propene is an example of unsymmetrical compound. This reacts with HCl or HBr. <coughs> Unsymmetrical reagent contain partial positive and negative center. The main aim for the reaction is to break this double bond and saturate it with the addition of HCl molecule. Reaction starts from the attack of this double bond on hydrogen. The double bond behave as a nucleophilic center and this hydrogen behave as an electrophilic center. This bond shifts towards chlorine. Now this positive part have two chances of attachment. It can either attach itself to this right carbon or it can attach itself to this left carbon. With the help of definition we can easily find out where do we attach this hydrogen? The definition clearly says that the negative part of the reagent goes to that carbon containing minimum number of hydrogen. So this carbon does not allow hydrogen to attach itself with it and it clearly shifts this hydrogen to the other side where carbon is uh, having further two hydrogens on it. This hydrogen when attaches to the right carbon results into a compound known as a carbocation intermediate. This carbon fulfill all of the four covalent bonds. This central carbon lacks only one bond so it bears a partial positive charge carbocation intermediate is our intermediate of the reaction. Likewise, we get another compound chloride ion, another ion of the reaction. In the second step, this negative part can easily attach itself to this carbon. So, we get CH3, CH Cl and CH3 and we get 2 chloropropane. This 2 chloropropane is known as Markovnikov's product. I hope you can now easily understand the idea of Markovnikov wool. This unsymmetrical reagent combines with unsymmetrical alkene giving us a carbocation intermediate where negative part of the reagent can easily attach itself to the center carbocation center and uh, giving us 2 chloropropane. If I write another method from this uh, technique sorry not from this technique starting from this technique then we have another route if I say that this hydrogen is unable to attach itself with the left carbon and it uh, form a bond with the central carbon then what should we have here is a carbocation 
but that type of carbocation where positive charge is present on the extreme left corner similarly chloride ion here chloride ion is going to react with the carbon having positive charge and have more hydrogen as compared to the upper carbon so there are less chances of attachment of this halogen to this carbon if i can write this compound like that its name would be 1 chloro propane and in chemistry we say that it is our anti markovnikov product this cannot be possible according to the rule that's all for now students thank you